Tim of Govberg, and welcome to the world of IWC. Today, I'll be your guide to the features of the IWC Ingenieur Chronograph 3808-02, 42.3mm in diameter in stainless steel. This watch is a versatile timepiece that combines a sporting demeanor with elegance and versatility thanks to its equal measures of dress watch viability and sports watch durability. Let's start with the bracelet, which is a new design created for this reference. You can see the unmistakable taper down from the lugs and differential finish polished on its outermost flanks. Main links in satin, center intermediate links high polished. You can see that each individual link via a pusher on the underside and a solid retaining bar released through the flank can be removed. Every individual link, either for very close cleaning by an enthusiast owner or for optimal sizing. You can also use the slider system built into the clasp for fine adjustment of sizing. Push down the IWC marquee and now you can slide it in or out through several detent positions. There are multiple notches. You can also note the fine finish. Even inside the clasp, alternating polish and engine turned perlage, emblematic of IWC's attention to detail in both engineering and artistry. Now you'll note the substantial bracelet beautifully flows into the lines of the lugs. You can see a conforming end piece traces the arc of the case as well as matches the height of the lugs themselves. Now you can see differential finish, satin on the top contrasting with the polished tops of the lugs and there is nuance to the case though it is a mighty mountain of metal. You can see the differential finish polish of the bezel, polish of the case back and vertical satin striation of the lug flanks as well as the case flank giving way to an all polished conical bezel framing a tachymeter scale. Now the tachymeter is outboard of all indications of time. It's a base 1000 meters which means it's used to gauge the speed of an object over a fixed interval such as one kilometer or thousand meters. Now the way you use it is you start the chronograph when the object starts the interval. So it passes the start straight. Okay. Now let's say you wait until the object finishes and it crosses the finish point after 12 seconds. Well, you look next to 12 seconds and you can see 300. 300 kilometers per hour was the speed of the object. That's the function of the tachymeter. Now inboard you can see applied and polished indices for the hours, outboard a dot of superluminova paint, and at center faceted and polished baton style hands with lancet seconds. You can also see sunken sub-registers for the chronograph functions as well as constant seconds at 6 o'clock, providing another focal plane for the eyes and there is a sunburst metallic motif radiating out from the center of the dial. You'll also note there are a number of nuances that add to the artistry of this watch. It's not simply an ingenieur's tool. You can see how the chronograph pushers themselves are of high polish and they're actually rounded in profile such that they trace the arc of the bezel around. Turn the watch over, deploy the secure twin trigger released clasp, and you can see the IWC Manufacturer Automatic Chronograph Caliber 69375. Now the Caliber 69375 features a 46 hour power reserve. It features IWC's signature Peloton style winding system such that it's both shock resistant and highly efficient. Winding in both directions it features no unnerving rotor wobble on the wrist. Pivoting on 33 joules, it's also nicely decorated with a skeletonized winding mass on top of bridges featuring circular Cote de Genève, and you can see that there's an engine turned prolage across the base plate. All of the screw heads are polished, and it features a crisp column wheel actuation. You can see the crenellated column wheel just beneath my finger. It's polished on its head and it interacts with the levers of the chronograph. A traditional chronograph architecture, it is a little bit more difficult to manufacture and tune, but it is the proper way to craft an in-house chronograph caliber in Schaffhausen. Now, as you actuate the chronograph, you can feel it, you can hear it, and you can see the rotation of the column wheel as it interacts with the horns of the chronograph levers. Finally, additional refinements include stop seconds, so when you screw out the crown, you stop the seconds hand at 6 o'clock, and you can synchronize precisely to a reference time. It features a quick set date such that you can rapidly cycle and correct the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. And thanks to the screwed in case back and the screwed down crown, the watch, which is perfectly acceptable in a suit or formal attire, 
also boasts 120 meters of water resistance, so it is truly a surf and turf option. You can see this and the entire collection of IWC fine timepieces on our website, govbergwatches.com.